Welcome to another episode of the A-List Music Club. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Truth. And as always, I'm being joined by Dominic and John. How's it going tonight, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get rolling. <laughs> <laughs> no, do good. All right. Hey, he's on and, vacation. Uh, he's still in a hurry. Huh? He's on vacation and he's still in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's in space. <laughs> the final um, frontier. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is the show, of course, where each week one of us picks a different playlist, album, CD, whatever, and the others listen to it. <laughs> so uh, this time it was Dominic's turn to pick. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your choice? I, I picked a band that I always heard of and never really listened to. And a lot of times, Thin Lizzy and this band are mentioned in the kind of the same breath. And I never really checked them out before. And, and I don't think they're too similar at all, but same era. Um, I picked uh, the band UFO, and I picked their, their album Lights Out. And I posted that I, on Facebook in the 70s rock fan thing that I'm, I kind of never, ever really heard of them or listened to them before. And I got like 180 people angrily commenting at me. Jesus. <laughs> I love the internet. Yeah. <laughs> people are not angry. They're like, oh, dude, what took you so long? Oh, my gosh. You know, that type of thing. So... I guess I'll start off and I'll finish it with that last line. What took me so long? Um, I absolutely love them to the fact that I've downloaded every album in their, in their catalog and I've listened to three other ones so far. They have broken into my top 20 of all time. Now we got to redo it. <laughs> no. No. Next year. Next, next year. year. Next year. Yeah. Um, Michael Shanker is just an incredible guitar player. That boy can play, and I know he was. I know he was a, a guitar player in the Scorpions. Never really listened to the Scorpions. Now I'm dying to go check out his band, the Michael Shanker Group. I'm gonna have to check those out. I love this album. I thought it was great. And the next one I listened to was what some people claim to be the greatest live album of all time, which was Strangers in the Night by UFO. And that just blew my doors right off. Doors or drawers? <laughs> doors. Yeah, I, I loved it, man. I, I really did. I, I thought it was fantastic. Okay, uh, I don't feel the same way you did. Oh, no. <laughs> no that's fine. No, I've never, I knew one UFO song that was lights out. I've never heard any of their music. I don't know anything beyond that song. So this is my first time too. Um, I don't know. I like Too Hot to Handle, although that was an okay song. Lights Out, of course, I liked. Uh, yeah. I don't know that Try Me is that great a ballad. Uh, the cover of Alone Again or is okay. I just think they sort of sound like about a hundred other hard rock bands from this era. With a very talented guitar player because Shaker is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nothing that really stood out to me that made them different than Stars or any of those other type of or, like, or Kiss. The same kind of hard rock. Yeah. Played very well. Nothing. Singers okay. Just it didn't really move me. It didn't. It didn't make me want to like. Oh my god, I'm a huge fan. We'll listen to this again. But just like, eh, it is mm -hmm. what it is. Well, you obviously need to seek professional help. <laughs> 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 what part of the problem is like, for me, I grew up in the '80s with all those bands that copied from these bands. 
Right. So, well, this is the and first I, generation bands. And I think that has something to do with it, too. Because this is like the music that I grew up with, you know. And like I said, I I I really, really, there's, I I, I loved them. I really did. I, I can see that. I, I get it. I mean, they have a following in America, even though they never had a hit. <laughs> well, I think that album Lights Out was their highest chart topper i think it topped out at either 47 or 27 if i'm not if i'm not mistaken uh number 23 okay the highest charting album in the u.s still is to this day yeah but their most popular album is the live album right uh, yeah. Everybody, everybody loves that album, including my, that me. UFO album. My dad ever had was that live album. Yeah, yeah. I didn't hate it. It wasn't like I wanted to turn it off. Oh, I know. I but, just, you know, it's good. I guess for what it is. <laughs> well, you know what? I'll, I'll tell you one thing. It's no Daughtry. <laughs> no, I mean, who is? I mean. <laughs> That time someone makes fun of someone else. <laughs> I I at least know that there would be no Daughtry if there was no UFO. Well, there all those hair bands that I grew up with in the eighties don't exist without Kiss and Stars and UFO. Oh, exactly, exactly. So I caught the second generation, the next wave of it. I I just saw an interview of with the late Ronnie James Dio. And he he uh he blames poison personally for destroying heavy metal. Jeez. He says they because they started off one of those kind of like they were one of the first real hair bands and stuff like that. And he said hair bands destroyed rock and roll and heavy metal. I like poison. <laughs> I, when I was a kid, I thought nothing of it, but now it's funny to me. I remember looking at like Hit Parade or Magazine or like Metal Edge, yeah. and you'd see like Judas Priest poster, an Iron Maiden poster, Metallica poster, Bon Jovi. I know. Or like Striper. And then you're like, that's not metal at all. But no. Back then it all was, but now when I'm older, I'm like, yeah, that's not. <laughs> mm. All right. Uh, so I think it was a much better pick for Dominic than or his last random choice of Nantucket. Um, yeah. <laughs> Definitely better uh, than Nantucket, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's a review that goes professor. down in infamy, I think. But uh, yeah, I never heard of this band ever. So this was certainly a first time listen for me, uh, unless I did and just didn't realize that over time. I don't know. But that I know of, I've never heard of this band. Um, many fans say this is their best studio album. Um, I thought it, I kind of thought it reminded me a little bit of Stars when I was listening to it. Um, and you know, looking back on my review of that Stars album, I think I might have been a little harsh on that CD because I I listened to it a little. I, I listened to a few more songs, and I was like. Yeah, I kind of remember not really giving this a great review, but I don't mind it. <laughs> so I might have to, yeah, think about that. But anyway, uh, I like this album. I'm kind of in the middle between you guys. Um, I really like Too Hot to Handle. Um, I thought Just Another Suicide, ha oddly enough, had a, a little bit of an Elton John, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road feel. Not that song, but that album. <laughs> to it uh, sad slower song with a great guitar solo try me yeah it was, it was all right lights out was cool uh, and i liked pretty much everything else uh love to love is a seven minute song but a great jam um yeah i like getting ready so pretty much i enjoyed it overall but i kind of get what john's saying like as soon as i Close. I watched it on YouTube. So <laughs> as soon as I closed the video, I was like, I don't remember a damn thing. I just 
<laughs> that I just listened to, but um, I I remember liking it. So, <laughs> yeah. but like, yeah, yeah I just looked at those song but... titles. I couldn't tell you what those songs were when I was listening to them, but I mean, I, yeah, I feel like that happens a lot on our show, though. So. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I, I, I thought it was fine. I'll, I'll add a couple of songs to my Wes's Extraordinary playlist. Um, I have very little trivia. <laughs> uh, Kerrang! Magazine listed this album at number 28 among the 100 greatest heavy metal albums of all time. Wow. I, would call, I wouldn't call it metal, but you know. Steve wow. Harris from Iron Maiden calls Love to Love his all-time favorite song. Wow. Um, and Lights Out and Love to Love were featured in the movie Detroit Rock City. Maybe that's where you heard it before, Wes. That awesome movie. I never watched that movie, actually. <laughs> Me either. There's one for our show. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't think I own that movie. Oh, yeah. I... I have it on DVD. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> okay, all let's right, rate there. this thing. I I I'll start. I loved it. Um, I I don't think it's a ten. I I I'll go nine on this album. I I really really enjoyed it. Um. I listened to that Strangers in the Night. That is a 10. That one is, a, is it's fantastic live album. Yeah. But uh, this one I really, really liked. And I'm like I said, I've listened to like three of their albums so far and I've liked every one of them. So I went and just went on Apple Music and every UFO album that came up, I downloaded. They've got a lot. <laughs> yeah, they do. Because they're, they're even still making it making stuff and you wow. know what i heard in nine in 2022 they're going to continue they're going to continue their farewell tour jesus so if they come around wesley we're going to see ufo <laughs> yeah yeah the singer wants to retire yeah he's the only original member left i think well yeah because he's 92 years old man <laughs> Yeah. The way rock and roll is today, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I respect what they're doing. I'd probably, I gotta give it like a five. I just didn't, it didn't move me. I didn't dig it. Okay. Like Wes said, so I kind of forget it. And I'll split the difference and go with the seven. Because <laughs> like okay. I said, I liked it, but yeah. <laughs> maybe if I was kept, you know, if I listen to a few more songs, maybe some of the other albums, you know, the hits or get good songs <laughs> off of the other albums that Dominic will tell me about. Maybe I'll start liking them more. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, seven. Okay, whose choice is it? Me. Oh, shit. <laughs> and uh, speaking of concerts we're going to, Dominic, um, I think... No, this, no. <laughs> I think this is a band that John will like, and I hope it's one that you will like. Uh, this is the band that's going to be the opening act for... Oh, no. Day. And Fallout Boy and Weezer, and it's a punk ska band called The Interrupters. Um, I listened to a couple songs, and the album that I'm picking, I really like this one song, and it's stuck in my head all the time. So that's why I pick it. I'm picking this. And the album is called Fight the Good Fight. So uh, we'll see. <laughs> what do you guys think of that? Never heard I can of it. Tell you, I can tell you what I think of it already. <laughs> just keep just keep this recording i'll review it now i didn't get it i didn't like it i don't i, I give it a three <laughs> how are you gonna do that concert with weezer and fallout boy then i'm getting there late uh, if you like <laughs> Andy Oakman, 
They're a pretty Weezer. good band. They, they're kind of like... Weezer? Hmm? Uh, I was answering a question for John. Oh, okay. So, no, I, I, I don't know much of Fall Out Boy. I don't know any of their songs by name. I probably, if I heard some, I'd know. I'm not a big Green Day fan. There's a few songs that I like. Not a huge Green Day fan at all. And Weezer, only thing I've ever I know really by them are what they play on the radio, and they're okay. You might have a good time though, because they're gonna well, play. I'm, a lot. I'm sure I will just go into a concert. Yeah, you know? that'll be the first one back. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we will be back next week uh, with a new episode. But until then, John, you want to talk a little bit about your podcast? Sure. Uh, we like wrestling podcasts. And, uh, four guys sitting around talking about wrestling. Past, present, uh, classic pay-per-view review, tournaments. If it's going on in the world of wrestling, we talk about it. Uh, <laughs> we like wrestling podcasts. We're on uh, Spotify, iTunes, wherever you find podcasts. We're on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, We Like Wrestling Podcast. All right. And of course, for me, you can subscribe right here on YouTube, youtube.com slash westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, facebook.com slash West True Bayless. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram at West Ace. Until next time, truth out.